Okay, for our little Valentine bouquet today, we're gonna be using hot pinks. Um, and we're gonna start with stems and leaves. Oops, that's a auspicious start, okay. So let's do this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use a, a marker, sort of a brush in this instance. Carry some of this out and over. I'm going to want to leave a little bit of neg negative space in here as well. I'm using the markers in conjunction with the ink, you get some really interesting blends and lines and texture that I've really begun to enjoy. Okay, so now we're gonna use, I'm gonna just start splattering on And this was a uh, wild plum. I want a little green in here too, so. It looks like you got some leaves jutting out. Now this is gumball. And what is this? This is fiesta. A little green here. Here. Okay, we're gonna let that do its thing. Um I'm gonna drop in a little bit of alcohol. Help it blend and add a little texture to it too. It's so pretty in through here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, inking this as well. We're going to write little Valentine's notes in there. I think it'd be really pretty. Okay, so oh, that turned out cool. Okay, we're going to add little centers. And this is dandelion. You just drop it in where you think the center of a flower might look good. Let's try to unbrown that area a little. Oh, why not here too? Okay, pretty. All right. Let's let this dry for a minute and we'll be right back. While this is drying, there's a lot of ink, there's a lot of alcohol in there, so it's gonna take a couple minutes to dry. We're gonna start with the stem. Which pen is this? Okay. Um, so if you are right-handed, I would start on the left side. If you're left-handed, start on this side because you just naturally move this way and you don't want to um, smear any of the pen that you put down. This is a Pigma Micron 01. You know what? Actually, we're gonna let this dry a little bit more. It's still a little tacky and I don't wanna move anything. I'll be right back. Right. It seems pretty dry. So let's begin here. I'm just sort of outlining stem and then you can do a little design in here and let's do
I may come back and do the outside in a thicker um, pen later. We'll see how it turns out. Okay. And then here, I'm going to do Okay, that's her first little note. Um, I'm gonna kind of figure out what makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna do maybe a leaf here. It's an abstract, so you can pretty much do whatever you want. Do the side of a leaf. I don't want to really make it too busy because it can get a little overwhelming. Okay, let's do this side. Okay, um, and then do we need another note over here? Let's see, how about, um, into this. My pen will cooperate. Okay, I like that. And then here, I think what I want to do do a line up here and then little tiny leaves. Kind of look like hearts. Cool, I like that. Um, and then here, I'm gonna do B. Another stem here. 
these are things you can get very easily carried away with. Do a little, sit back, take a look at it, see if you want to add more. I mean, you could totally do more in here, but is it going to add anything else to it? You don't want to get too carried away. So now what I want to do is where did that go? Oh, I'm going to take this alloy in foundry and I'm going to put it in a little measuring cup. And then I'm gonna take a mini, they're like mini Q-tips. I will have links to all of this in the material section below. And then we're gonna put the, I'm gonna do this. Let me move this over so you can see better. And then I'm just going to highlight, it kind of looks like liquid silver. And at certain angles, it will really, really sparkle. Just going to put that around the center of our flowers, being careful not to show it start on the other side. Let's not smear anything that you've already done. I'm gonna have to open my windows in a minute. I can hear the birds outside are just singing away. It's a very beautiful late winter day here in Northern California. Now, you don't have to follow the actual um, lines. It's not one of those color within the lines type of deals. You can actually, if you wanted to make actual circles, the yellow inside are, is just sort of a guide, a highlight. All right, now, put this far away so I don't mess it up. I think now, yeah, and see what I did here. Let's hope that comes up. If not, I'm not even gonna worry about this because we're gonna splatter. Just let the alcohol sink in for a second. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna take some India ink and splatter on here. So um, now what I wanna do, I'm gonna add some berries in here. Make sure I always wipe off my alcohol ink markers because they pick up anything underneath it. Um, make sure I'm not gonna add more ink. Okay, so I'm gonna have some berries coming through here. You can even, instead of berries, make these little hearts, which would be pretty. Or make circles and then pen in some um, bear, uh, hearts. Let's do a lighter. Go. Um, I have another red hair. Here it is.
I can really tell the difference. Just looks like you got a few little stems going on. We're gonna highlight those. Let me do one, it's sort of a pink. Let's see what color this is. That's yeah, dark. Um, Okay, so then I'm going to take my little marker and just do the little stems. Be careful not to touch anything, just in case it's still a little sticky. I'm moving this off the page. Okay, now what I want to do is just a little bit of a highlight on those. Do have that stem come down to there. All right, and this is a white acrylic pen. And I'm just going to drop a little bit of color into it. Like the sun is shining down on it. Snake it down there. Let me do this. Just do one little berry. I've done that a little differently, but oh well. That's fine. So now we're going to take Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay ink. This is a uh, red violet. I'm going to carefully open it up, take one of those mini Q-tips, and dip it in, and then slam it against your finger. Any mistakes might hopefully be covered up. Okay, I think that's it. You can add more to it. You could drop in more alcohol maybe up here if you wanted to, but sometimes it's good to just sit with it for a little bit. See if you do want to add anything else to it or highlight something. But anyway, this is a fun, quick thing to do. You can make little Valentine's cards or um, whatever to send out to your friends and family. Hope you have a good weekend.
Bye.